Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Melissa Scheidemann and today I'm going to be doing another booktube tag. This one is called, Do You Have That Book? Book Tag. It was created by Keeping Tabs and it's a set of questions that each question asks whether or not you have a particular book in your library. So let's get started. One thing to note is that this book tag is also one where you time yourself searching for each of the books as you go through the questions. And for me, I chose to time myself and search for the books, have them all piled together, and then present the books with each of the questions in this video, rather than filming myself being timed finding them. So with that introduction done, let's get into the questions. Before we start in question one, I'd like to say what my time was. My time was 14 minutes. So with that, let's start with question one now. Question number one. Do you have a book with deckled edges? Yes. Grim Lovelies. Right here. Deckled edges. Question number two. Do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Yes. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. We've got Harry, we've got Fleur de la Cour, we've got Cedric Diggory, and we've got Victor Crumb. So I have, so there's four people on this cover. Number three, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Yes. For this one I chose Heat Wave, the first book of the Nikki Heat books, and these books are based off of the fictional TV story of Castle that follows a fictional author, Richard Castle. Number four, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? Yes. Also from the Nikki Heat book series, Frozen Heat. Question number five. Do you have a book with a title that starts and ends with the same letter? Yes, and I actually have two copies of this and it is Sorcery of Thorns. It starts and ends with the letter S. This is my Owl, Owl Crate version. My other version is from Litjoy. Question number six. Do you have a mass market paperback book? Yes. I have uh, Robert Frost poems. And this copy is a uh, mass market paperback. Number seven. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? I do. It is City of Bones by Cassandra Clare.
and Cassandra, and Cassandra Clare is a pen name. Number eight, do you have a book with a character's name in the title? Yes, I have that as well. For this one I chose Aragon by Christopher Poloni. Number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Yep. Sky Without Stars by Jessica Brody and Joanne Rendo. And I will show you Here's map number one, and this is map number two. Number 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? Yep, The Vampire Diaries. This book is actually has both the first and second book within this one book. Moving on to the next question. Number 11. Do you have a book written by someone who is originally famous for something else? Yes, I do actually. I have the book All By Myself, Walter, Peanuts, Ahmed, and Me by Jeff Dunham. Jeff Dunham is originally famous as a stand-up comedian and ventriloquist. Fun fact. I've seen him live actually three times. So funny. And this book is very funny as well. So next one. <clears throat> Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? Yes, I actually do. This one was a difficult one to find, but I have The Science of Getting Rich, The Original Guide to Manifesting Wealth Through the Secret Law of Attraction by Wallace D. Wattles, and it has a clock on the cover right here. So this is the book I have that has a clock on the cover, which is from this is from the set of books with The Secret. Next question. Do you have a poetry book? This one was a tough pick because the answer to that question is yes, I have a poetry book. I have many poetry books. And as I've mentioned before in my videos, I love to read a lot of poetry books because I also write poetry myself. So to me, reading poetry books helps to keep me inspired when, for writing my own poetry. So for that one, I chose The Soul in Love by Deepak Chopra. And this poetry book features classic poems by Rumi, Hafiz, Kabir, Tagore, and there's, a, I think, a few more. But this one I read a few years ago, and it is great. So if you love poetry, I definitely recommend this poetry book. Number 14. Do you have a book with an award stamp on it? Now this one was difficult to find because I don't have that many with an award stamp on the cover. But for this one, I chose 
Bridge to Terabitha by Katherine Patterson. And this one, this is a book that I've had since junior high. So I've had this book a long time, but you can see that it's got this award stamp, this John Newberry Medal award stamp right on the cover. Now this next question was tough. Number 15, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? So one answer to that would be no. I don't have a book written by another author with the same initials as me. However, answering yes to that question would be, I have my own book, my children's book, written by me for this question, which is the Allegra series, The Enchanted Forest. And so, for this question, I do not have a book written by another author besides me who has the same initials as me. So, number 16, do you have a book of short stories? I don't have many, but yes, I do have some. I chose Willful Creatures by Amy Bender. Number 17, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? Yes. Beautiful Darkness. And it is, let me see. This one is 503 pages long. Number 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie? Yes, I have Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I also have the whole Twilight series. Number 19, do you have a graphic novel? No, not exactly a graphic novel. I do have a graphic book. Well, I have the Tea Dragon Society by Katie O'Neill. So if this counts for this question, then this is the book I have. I don't read many graphic novels or graphic books, so I really don't have any. This is my only graphic no novel, which actually I would categorize it as a graphic novella because it's so tiny. So, but this is what I have. Number 20, and the last question, do you have a book written by two or more authors? Yes, and for this one I chose Beautiful Creatures, and it is by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll, and this is the book number one that comes before the other book, Beautiful Darkness. So that is all the questions for this book tag. And that is all the books that I have chosen to be paired with each of those questions. 
If you like this video, then click the like button below. Comment if you have done this book tag before or you plan to do this book tag and or comment if you've read any of these books that I've mentioned or you plan to read any of them. And if you want to see more of my videos, then click the subscribe button below. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye. Mm -hmm.